student teacher. I am so happy that I get this opportunity to be able to teach you guys online. As you all have been very well aware, this entire situation has been crazy for a lack of better words. Am I right? Come on now. So without further ado, we are going to be reading this book called Life in the Polar Lands. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the chapter. I'm also going to be taking pictures and putting them into a Google slide. And if possible, I will record my voice so that way you guys can also um, be able to click it and follow along with the, with the book. Um, some of you kind of like it when we just read out loud. So I'm just going to go ahead right now, read out loud to you. Um, and I will, again, put the pictures in the Google slide so that way you guys can um, follow along with it or... Um, you know, use whatever you're comfortable with, okay? And then I will post some questions from the reading into a Google document. A lot of you are um, understanding how to um, submit it for me to see it. And I really, really, really enjoy seeing your answers. Um, and if you're a person who um, would prefer to answer the questions in a different way, um, such as drawing a picture or, um, you can record your voice and send it to me. Whatever you you want to do, um, I just care that you pay attention and that you are, are understanding the content, the overall, the overall um, picture, if you will, of the story. Okay. So this says, looking at the poles. Few areas in the world are harsh and desolate as North and South Poles, and there are as beautiful, and few are as beautiful. For much of the year, both areas are freezing cold with fierce winds and thick snow and ice on the ground as it grows colder. Even the seas freeze. Not many animals live here. Some species, however, are hardy enough to live, breed, and find food in open waste. Their bodies have specially adapted to the constant cold. In summer months, May to July, at the North Pole and November to January at the South Pole, the sun shines at midnight. In winter, the poles remained almost permanently dark. So imagine, shut your eyes. Dark, that's all you can see, okay? The snow and ice recede in the short summers, leaving the ground littered with pools of melt water. The land is covered with flowers, and bursts of green leaves, creatures mate and nest, or find safe places to give birth to their young. The air is filled with insects. Plants in the polar lands spend most of their time under snow, but burst into life during the short summers. Their seeds are very hardy and do not germinate until conditions around them are exactly right for growth. A large iceberg floats in the summer sea off in Antarctica. I don't know, can you guys see my little map here? Where is Antarctica? You guys see? Where is Antarctica? Is that it right here at the bottom? See, Antarctica, very good. 
Good job. So let's go ahead. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, guys. So a large iceberg, gotta fix the camera every two seconds, there we go. A large iceberg floats in the summer sea off in Antarctica. It is a sunset, but at this time of the year, the sky never really grows dark. So during the summertime, the sun never really goes down. So it still looks bright outside. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that cool? How would you like it if you're trying to sleep and you can't because the sun is coming in, you know, it's coming into your windows and it never really gets dark, right? I, for one, am a person that needs my room to be extra, extra, extra dark so that way I can sleep. Otherwise, Mrs. Neubauer never gets any sleep. Where in the world? Where in the world? The poles are on the top and bottom of the earth. So again, if we look here at my little map, ooh, why can't I zoom out? So if we look at my map here, we have the top and the bottom. Top and bottom, okay? That was a great face. All right, the poles are at the top and bottom of the earth because they are farther from the sun than any other point on earth. The sun's rays are weaker, which makes the polar land colder than anywhere else.